It's me Amalia from Amalia Blooms. I am the doctor who needs. And today I just wanted to pop in here very quickly just to show you what I will put on my next uh, shop update. I will probably uh, upload the yarn uh, today or tomorrow on Etsy. But I wanted you to show uh, I wanted to show you the colors uh, here on video because they show really nice and especially outside the colors show exactly as they are in real life so I prefer that uh, from uh, Instagram this is my little dog she's in my lap sleeping on <laughs> some skeins of yarn um, don't mind her <laughs> her name is Sarah uh, okay let's start I want to start with the summer base I named it uh, Nisi Nisi in Greek means uh, island so I named the base island base because you can wear it you can definitely wear it in uh, summer even if you live in a very hot climate like I do and um, it is a uh, 60% organic cotton, sorry, it's a 60% organic uh, cotton, 40% linen base. I think you can see the color very nicely. Uh, this first color I named Aspasia after my mother because it's the first uh, color she liked and purple uh, it has a purple base with purple speckles and yellow and green speckles purple is her favorite color okay I have uh, two skins of uh, this then on the same base I have some uh, pink Nice, right? <laughs> I have some pink with um, little dark purple and little green uh, speckles, and this um, this kind of pink reminds me of the uh, flower hortensia. I don't know if it in English is hortensia or something like that, but it reminds me of this color. That's why I named it hortensia. I have all the colors written on the back. I also have three skins uh, of this color, but the um, last uh, skein is a little bit paler than the other ones, so I wouldn't uh, sell all the three of them together. If someone wants uh, maybe a fade, this will be perfect. Or if you change the yarn every row. And I also have in the on the same base this color, which is a um, sand a sand uh, base with red and some uh, yellow speckles, and I named this uh, Cyprus because when I saw these colors, I thought of Cyprus in winter. And I have two skeins of this. This base is the base I'm knitting with right now. And I am a test knitting for this bird knit, Sunny has. I am knitting the Deco Tea. Deco Tea, probably. And this is how the, the yarn is knit up. This color is a different one. I haven't uh, dyed it yet. I will soon, but you can see here the speckles and how nice the fabric knits up uh, and for this I'm using 5 millimeter needles and creates this not too loose but very um, breathy fabric so this is the base Nisi then 
I will show you my sustainable yarns. So, the main um, type of yarn I will have in my shop is 4-ply uh, 100% sustainable merino wool. And uh, this is something I wanted, it's non-superwash, because um, in Greece we don't have, uh, we don't produce yarn, so I cannot buy locally yarn. But I can try to find the best uh, kind of yarn uh, for uh, ethical reasons. I want to know where the yarn comes from and that it's plastic free and the, that the sheep have a good life. So I'm buying this sustainable uh, merino wool and I love it, it's very squishy. So I have two skeins of uh, lavender color, Levanda, Levanda in Greek. It is fingering weight, 100% sustainable. So two skeins of that. And then I have a bunch of <laughs> skeins dyed with walnut. Look at this. <laughs> there are many. Um, but that, they don't have the same uh, exact shape. Some of them do, so these four are exactly the same. They're dyed with walnut. These are called uh, latte because they are a little bit uh, more uh, milky than these ones. But they are dyed using the same dye, uh, the same walnuts. I have a walnut tree. I collect the walnut husks that fell down. Uh, so I'm dyeing it with walnut husks and yeah did I say that all my yarn is naturally dyed probably didn't all my yarn is naturally dyed sorry I've said that in the previous videos but I'm new at this so probably I should mention it again sorry okay so these browner seeds I named Karidi which in Greek is walnut and I have Three of the same batch. And then I have two special ones. A very, very, very dark one. And a grayish, very variegated one. These are all of the browns. And this is uh, this sustainable yarn I also have on DK. And I dyed four skeins of um DK weight walnut yarn I like this color this is a neutral okay look how good it looks with the um, with the purple the lavanda white look this or the darker one Okay, this is dreamy for color for color work. This would look very very nice. Okay, let's move on. Ah, look at this pop of color. Okay. Next up, I have those uh, strawberry sorbet. Um, Fuchsia <laughs> colorways. Uh, this I have two skins. This is the very dark, deep fuchsia, and then this is a little uh, lighter and more variegated. And I love them together. I think for a shawl they will look great. And check it out. I have paired mohair yarns. Uh, this mohair is ethically sourced. It's very important to know that with when you're um, using mohair. So these two go great together and then you can use those two next to them. <laughs> Cute! 
I love this color. I'm not a very keen um, on a very uh, keen on bright colors, but um, the fact that this is made out of natural dyes uh, amazes me. And the mohair mo took the dye so nicely. It's cushy. This is a uh, lace weight, 78% mohair, 20% silk. Yeah. And also look at this combination. The walnut with the uh, fuchsia together. Nice, right? Okay, next up, some speckles. Next up, I have this colorway. Again, I made uh, darker and lighter ones because I'm experimenting with color and uh, not all of them are the same, but they are dyed with the same color, colors, the same colors, yes. So this is on my 4-ply sustainable merino wool base and it's speckled with um, purples and greens and yellows and a hint of pink somewhere right there and then this is dyed with the same colors but it's uh, more heavily speckled and I named this Alisos from another uh, plant that goes in Greece then I have two these two also this is more speck heavily speckled than this one and I named this Eros because it's very pink lovey but it also have some has some uh, dark inside like uh, Eros does Eros means love in Greek yeah Nice, right? Uh, then I have another base, uh, which is the uh, superwash base, but without uh, nylon. So it's my sock yarn, and it's a single ply. So I named it the uh, mono. Which in uh, Greek means single, and this is my favorite colorway because uh, it's every skin is different, and I make these out of um, uh, petals that I collect from uh, the dead plants that live near my house in a flower store, and I go by there every day and collect the dead. Um, the dead leaves, the dead petals, and then I dye the yarn. I have four skins uh, from this, and every skin is a little different. For example, this skin has some red in it, probably some red petals. I don't know how this happened, but then it has dark greens, and all of these colors happen from the petal by themselves I I do nothing else okay and then this skin is lighter on this side but when you turn it boom it also has red in it and this one doesn't have red it's a more um, cool toned skin Okay, look at that. And this is my Irini base. Perfect. Those are perfect. I also tried to do a matching uh, mohair skein because my aunt wants to knit up the birds of a feather using uh, one skein, uh, uh, two, two skeins of Irini and one skin of mohair but 
this mohair turned out to be darker if it was this side you see the pairing is better but I have to redo it for uh, to match exactly those skin sorry for the finger <laughs> um, I have to redo it but look at that this is one of a kind I only have one uh, skein of this okay so that's it that's all of it it's here <laughs> there are so many keep in mind that because they are dyed with petals and leaves and bark and all of those stuffs uh, when you wind up the skein you maybe you will find some some little wood chips or um, flower petals because it doesn't matter how well I wash this, it will still have uh, parts of the dyeing side because it's not the dyes I use are from nature, they're not uh, in powder form. Um, I always write this on my on the yarn when I sent it to you, but keep in mind that this might happen if it's a problem for you. Um, don't don't get them but it shouldn't be a problem because I think it, it proves that they are made uh, from natural ingredients okay guys so stay tuned for the sub update I hope you get everything and I will see you very soon for a knitting podcast uh, by the way today I'm wearing my ranunculus that I showed you last time but I wasn't wearing it because it was dumb uh, I'm wearing it today just to show you how um, you can knit something using summer uh, fibers even though uh, even if you live in a very 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 hot climate like I do I'm in uh, Greece in Crete on Crete at Crete on Crete I'm in Greece and Crete, so uh, it's super hot here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for buying everything uh, for my last update. And I will see you soon. Bye.